Hi, I'm James Coyle. Um, I practice. This. I wouldn't call it physical therapy, but it's, it's a therapy called Komatsu, which um, we test the whole body and we acknowledge that everything in the body is connected. So somebody's coming to me with a sore back. I could be trying to find something that's causing a weakness in the muscle, and if you get that muscle switched on, next thing the back's working better. Um, so it, through testing people over the past year or so, I've noticed that, that that's, uh, people coming to me with a sore back, I'm finding weak muscles right, left and centre, and then when I ask them to take the foot bit off, the muscles switch on, and it was blowing my mind, so I thought, this is kind of hard proof that wearing a Fitbit, being connected to 4G, really does affect how your body works. What is the Fitbit? Is that the, the watch, the wireless watch you see on yes. people's hands, right? Yeah, and it's, it's, it's actually connected to your energy. It's, there's a, a metal connection that's measuring, it's measuring your heart rate, your sleeping patterns, right, okay. all kinds of things. So, it's, it's amazing. I've tested people with the Fitbit on, and if they, if they detach it from their phone in terms of the Bluetooth, that doesn't affect them, but if you're connected to the phone through, through Bluetooth, you're, you're kind of connecting to the 4G signal. Right. So, just testing here, I've only done a couple yet, but the last girl there, um, she's in her 30s. I tested 20 muscles with the Fitbit on, nine of those were weak. When we removed Fitbit, seven of those switched back on. So right. Half her muscles were weak because of the Fitbit, practically half, and when she took it off, Nearly all of them switched on. There was only two muscles switched off. So <laughs> she was amazed. I'm sort of. How did you calculate that, or how did you? How could you tell? So I just wrote out ten random muscles. Like these are core muscles. Right. These are major muscles that stabilize the, your lower back and sacrum. This is your quads. Another knee flexor. This is a massive muscle for lower back strength. Right. This is essential for stabilizing your pelvis everybody knows what your hamstrings are and your gluteus maximus right okay so anything they find we could put a, a, an x an x along with it right okay so uh, right okay yeah this is this is just an example so glenda's weak 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 so there was nine weak muscles out of 20. right and then we took the fitbit off all of those switched on all these weak muscles switched back on wow Except for two. How do you know if they're weak, or how can you tell if they're not active, if they're not working? Like, well, it's, it's sometimes, sometimes you would, if you lift a leg and ask the person to hold your leg there, yeah. if it's very weak, they can't even hold their right, leg. Right, okay. And it, it does blow their mind. They're right. Like, What's wrong with my leg? Uh, you can't, they can't hold it up? Yeah, so that's just telling me a uh, uh, hip flexor or one of your core muscles is weak. Right. And then you take off the th 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 next thing, the legs just sit wow. in the air and they're amazed. That's incredible, isn't it? Uh, so, um, the main uh, how, how did you get into all this, or when did you discover this? Or well, I, I've been practicing Amatsu for three years, so everybody who comes in, I test them. Oh, right, okay. And usually I would ask people, have you got a phone on you? And they say, yes, take it out of your pocket. So I work, work on them without the, the phone on them. But then, a couple of times, I was, the body wasn't making sense for me when I was treating somebody. And then I realized, you see the little light flickering underneath the sleeve, and you go, all right, have you got a Fitbit on? And they go, yeah, so I take it off. I take it off, and I thought, well, I better test everything again, just to see, yeah. has the Fitbit affected anything? And I was, my mind was blown. No way, hey? Yeah. Wow. There was one woman came to me, and the first thing she says to me when she was describing her problems, she says, I've always felt strong all my life. I've been proud that I can get stuck in and do a bit of hard work. She says, two years ago, about two years ago, my body left me. She says, I don't know what happened, but my back has been weak as water since. I don't know what happened. And uh, I said to her after testing and then asking her to take off the Fitbit, I says, Kim, do you mind me asking how long do you have the Fitbit? She says, must be about two years now. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> you know? So in her case, but my opinion was from testing, that was causing enough weak muscles to leave her back in a compromised right, state, okay. but she didn't have a stable lower back. Cool. So, that's how I got into it. Right, good man. Um, would, I do a live call-in show I'm on YouTube, I'm not, I'm not sure if you're aware of it. Um, would you be interested in coming on sometime and going into, mo into further detail? Yeah, that's it. Alright, well, th th thanks for your help, Brian, and keep up the good work, right?